part of the Chinatown Remixed, which is on Somerset Street, and it's 40 artists in different venues from hair salons, which I am at the Alin Hair Design, coffee houses, restaurants, you name it. It's there for the whole entire month, all for your viewing pleasure. We started it out in 2009. It was Grace, Zinn, and I. We just met over tea and we were brainstorming all sorts of ideas to liven up the neighborhood. It's just kind of organically growing into uh, one of the Chinatown's annual art festivals, uh, one of Ottawa's annual art festivals. When we think of organizing an art festival, we, we take the broader spectrum of art, so visual arts, um, photography, painting, but also like sound installations, video installations. My name is Grant Harding, and uh, my installation is a seven-minute puppetry film called Face. What happens in the video is this character, this puppet, he's sad that he has no face, but he, he's out walking and he discovers a piece of clay on the ground, and he uses it to construct a face for himself. This is my first year as a participating artist. I'm really enjoying it. The uh, response I'm getting already is really nice. <laughs> There's uh, the remote control, and it's just like a remote control car. You push forward, and it tells the uh, brain inside of the robot to walk forward, or go backwards, or turn, or pick up the stick, or jump. The idea was uh, I got one of those little remote control helicopters for my birthday, and it was so fun flying around my house. I thought, what if you could control a person? And I got talking about it more with my wife, who's the co-collaborator on the project. Her name's Deborah. We thought, well, we could turn the robots into remote controls because we already had the robot costumes from a couple Halloweens ago. We really love organizing it. Like, we really are passionate about the whole project. So I think from my perspective is if we love it, we know there's going to be like-minded people that are going to love what we're doing.